Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the new Palace Lanes here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Baranchuk. David, today we crown a king. Absolutely right, Steve. Today, a new king will be crowned. Newcomer, Stan Parker, faces the number one seed, Steve Reno Sr., a former King of the Palace champion. I'm looking forward to some great bowling. And now, Steve, it's time to crown a king. Up now, the number one seed, former King of the Palace champion, Steve Reno Sr., bowling out of bogey lanes in East Brookfield, Mass., with an average of a 115. Well, here we go, people. This is it. This is for the King of the Palace. Two strings. Two string total takes it. Drop the nine. Drop a nine, excuse me, leaving the two pin for the spare. Boy, he'd like to get this to open up the... Steve's been bowling for uh, 37 years. His high single is an impressive 191. His high trip, 481. Oh, yeah. Picks it up All for over. a spare. All over, no doubt about it. Nice smooth delivery. Three-step approach, the little bend of the right knee, the drop. I have a lot of respect for Steve Reno. Absolutely. He's done a lot for the kids over the years. Um, the rock and bowl that I do every year, he's usually there all the time. And any time a kid would throw a strike against him, he would hand out giant candy bars. Really? They, everyone loves this guy. How do I get into that? <laughs> Fills the spare with a, oh, what is yep. this? Starlight 5. Takes out the five pins on the left. Starlight that, 5, I feel kind of dirty on that. <laughs> it's an East Boston saying. Yeah. But how does it happen? Oh, oh, no. Boy, he thought he had better than that. He's got five pins up. He hits, once again, hits his object and just takes two out. Uh, disappointing. He hits the head pin and gets five. Excuse me, gets eight. Opens up with a 23. Up now, number two seed, Stan Parker, bowling out of Mason's Bowling Center in Lumberster, Mass., with an average of a 105. Now, Stan Parker, who last week defeated newcomer Mike Kane. Well, Dennis, here we got Stan Parker. We mentioned it last week. He's been throwing some bombs last but week. But his, his approach, like we say, there's no two Candlebin bowlers throw the ball the same way. Exactly. And obviously, in this, in this one, we've got the exact opposite. of the deliberate bowler like Steve Reno with a hook and Stan with a f get up in fire. Go ahead, David. I'm sorry. He drags his, he drags his uh, trail leg like uh, the Cluffinator does. And oh boy, I thought he had that coin's leave leave, but he missed it. Stan only been bowling for four years. His high single, 171. That's impressive for only bowling five years oh, yeah. for a few years. Yep, and look at that, he's on the King of the Palace. Exactly. Anybody? That's why, well, that's why the show was designed. Right. So anybody, anybody can do it. Doesn't matter. Where you come from, it's Gannop and bowling. Go up here, throw see what it and there There's it is. The There's the hammer. A little extra English by Stan Parker. The seven pin fell. We got a strike. Nice opening match so far. That's his favorite shot. Yep. Okay, Steve Reno up on lane number three. Box number three. Wants the head pin. And oh my goodness. And he's left the ugly five six. Shoot the leg. Sweep the leg, John. Where are you going? High on this left wood? Dennis or low? I'd go a little low. Maybe red line or lower. Just that's, like that. Yeah, there just like that. Pushed it over. You called it, Dennis. You yes. called it. I know, what, I know what I'm talking about sometimes. <laughs> you know, Steve bowls on Monday night in the double leagues and Tuesday night in the men's league. And I believe he also bowls in the, the pro travel league. I as believe a sub. he's a sub, yes. Um... Some of his Steve's hobbies oh. after dropping a nine on a spare. His hobbies are um, going to sporting events. Left the eight pin for a spare. Got two pieces of wood. I have no idea on this I one. I would Dennis. try to thread the needle. Yeah. I'll go far right on that green wood. Thread the needle. Oh, he went to the left side. I don't know if that was by design or. Well, he has a little bit of a hook to his ball, so threading the needle might have been a little tough. 
Well, unfortunately. Nice shot, though. Yeah. A lot of people tell me. You know, I've had the I've had the pleasure of um, bowling against Steve Reno as well, and I definitely have to tell you, he is one of the one of the respectable. Well, he mentioned it to me in the pre-qualifying discussion in the rounds that missing the single pin is. Ooh, half Worcester left. He's just very frustrating. January, genuinely nice guy. Yep. Now Stan's got to find it here. He drilled out the half Worcester left, but unfortunately he's got two balls of a spike. Oh, oh Ooh, no, look, look at, at this. Playing a little oh, Paul Bunyan goodness. and chop, chop, chop. Beautiful pocket hit and drills out. Three. Oh, oh boy, this is disappointing. What do we got after three, Dennis? For an update, please. Steve Reno, senior at 42, with Stan Parker at 39. Yeah. Box number four, and lane number four. There goes Stan. Four horsemen to. Wow, oh, that now thing look just at this. Pe over. People, look at this very, very funny looking pin. It's not really a funny looking pin. It moved over. It did six not fall. Six pin just kind of like yeah. moved over like a. It moved pitch. over. It slid and. Oh, but nice he got the spear. You got another example of candle pin bowling, guys. Where else is it happening? The pin moved right, never fell down, kept spotted itself, but in the rules of candle pins, you got to play it. Exactly. The pin is not down. Doesn't matter where it moves to. After four, it's Steve Reno at 51, Stan Parker at 49, plus a well, we got a, spare. We've got a great match going on here, people, viewing land. It's for the king of the palace. Oh, wide left. He that. knew it. Yeah, he knew it. Yo, He's left one three ten. Steve wanted Have to it. give a shout out. You know, it's his um, anniversary coming up on July fourteenth. He's been uh, married to his wife for twenty four years. Um, so, and they have three kids: Steve Jr., who's twenty three; Brandon, who's seventeen; and Alyssa, who's fifteen. So, happy anniversary to um, Senior and Kathy. May you have many, many more years. Okay, going up onto. That's it. Wow, well, no congratulations. You guys are cold. Congrats. Cold, cold, cold. Up onto lane four. I wish everyone well. Uh, look at this pocket hit. You don't hold any. What is this leaf called? Candle pin bowling? I call it the goal post. No, it's the devil's gold. It's the devil's bed post. The devil's bed post. The floor six. <clears throat> the, oh, I yeah. believe. I see the handcuffs. I think it's the first time it's ever happened on the show. A four six. Well, you better be careful what you're saying, because if no, I know Travis. I know Travis will. Be Travis all over will you. Back. He'll say not true. He's Travis Fock. He's <laughs> he's the only one who answers to me, and he'll tell me. And you know, I respect that, but I'm quite sure that's the only. Well, that's the first time that no, the the devil's bed post has shown up. You have it wrong. Travis doesn't tell you anything. He just shows you. But that's right. He's Travis Fock. He. Answers to nobody. He's by. He's the man. You know, he's the man. That's right. That's, that's that, you took That's the words right out of my he's mouth. End of discussion. Stamp. Oh no! 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 What is this? Volume. First, we, first we get the the devil's bedpost. Now we follow it up with a spread eagle on a spare. Uh, oh, now he chops out just. A, what is going on here? I'm going. I know I'm going deaf. That's <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the octaves. The boy, no, <laughs> don't get me started. Oh, he had the big five for ten blocks and only took out. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> oh, in the championship match. Yep. He's on a mark. It's threw a beautiful spear, and what does he do? He takes out the spread eagle. I don't even want to talk about it. All right, he's well, got to right recover. Now, right now. After oh. five, they're tied at sixty. Now he's left. Oh, I love matches like this. What's he got there, Pierre? The two five, two five ten. ten. Yeah, where you going? Would roll up against the two. Where are you going? You got to get the two pin to the left. I would assume then. Yes, right? I would yeah. go to the left of the two pin. Oh, oh, oh threw that one away. Yeah, he knew it. Yeah. I think he. I think he saw that as soon as it left his hand. First we get the devil's bed post, and we follow it up with a spread eagle, and then we follow it up with another ugly leave. Oh my goodness. Oh. What do we got after six? After six, it's Steve Reno at 70, Stan Parker at 68. Both had this year the tough luck. Candle and bone, even though it is the championship match for the king of the palace, they're still going to go after everything.
Yo, since Steve was um, on the show the last time as the reigning king of the palace champion, had the opportunity to, to speak to him one night. He was subbing on the Friday Night Pro League out in Riverwalk. And I sat down with him and I actually asked him if he's a pin bowler or a spot bowler. And what do you think his response is? Spot. Spot. Spot bowler. Mm -hmm. Put the ball it's in It's amazing. <clears throat> He never looks at the pins. See, I'm the opposite. If I don't look at the pins, that's when I start going right or left. I'm a spot bowler too. I, I figure you hit. That's why, in my opinion, that's what we call these things either dots or arrows on the length so from mm -hmm. the correct range roll, range finders. And if you get any part of those range finders, you should hit the pin with. You lined up with the ball. It should. Theor theoretically. Theoretically. <laughs> Steve's little never. slide to the right to try to sweep, <laughs> sweep the legs over himself. Pick up those other three. Now yeah, we got the one, the one, three, ten. Very difficult spear. You got to be a bowler to th get it in there. Oh no, wide right. He knew it. No, as soon as he Leaves left the his head hand. Pin. He had a little guide in the back. I mean, if he hit the head pin, he most likely would have gotten a spare out of that. Yeah. It's amazing though. He knew as soon as he left his hand, he missed a shot. No, missed the seven. By a coat Excuse of paint. Me. Missed it to the left. Oh, there's all so many different angles. We're just waiting for somebody to open it up. We heard we heard a little bit of noise in the beginning, but it's yeah. been gone quiet. Only for a while. one there. Okay. Stan Parker up on lane number three, box number seven. Let's see what happens. Uh, wide Off left. to the oh, left. That a little late pin action. Left the full horseman right along with the nine pin. Or oh, more Larry Curly Shump and Joe. There you go. Boop, 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 boop. I'll do that one to you. Oh, nice, nice shot. Up. Nice shot. Found the head pin. Needed it. Into the pocket. Wiped them all out. Nice shot. Okay. Now the pressure's mounting to open up a lead here. To get a lead rather. Oh, but look Leaves at the this. the four, seven, seven into ten. ten. Oh, my God, this ugliness. Championship. You think they would fall down for the bowlers, guys? No. 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 They're not biased. They don't care who you no, are. No, that's right. Yep. They don't care. That, I they agree. Hate, the pins hit everybody equally. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, seven ten split. The railroad split and candle pin bowling. The seven and the ten. Most difficult shot there is, right, Dennis? Yes. I'd venture to say you put that up a thousand two th five thousand times, you make it once. I'd say you're probably correct on that no. one. <laughs> I know I've never made it. I've seen it I've made, made it with one. wood and lots uh, of it. Yeah. After eight, it's Steve Reno at 89, Stan Parker at 94. Well, Tight here we match. go. Tight match. Box number nine, alley number three, lane number three, rather. String number one. Off to the left. Steve, Steve had a little bit more zip on that ball than normal. Yeah, faded left. Got an ugly six pin spare lead. Got to throw the strike ball to make the spare. Well, drilled it, went right through the middle. Hit his object pin and he And he's smiling. What is going on here? That six pins up, split three, him, and six, gets three out of six. Three, six, and eight left on the deck. No wood, and he picks up the six. 97 for Steve Reno. This is not like Steve Reno bowling. Yeah. Two marks out of nine boxes. That is not Steve Reno bowling. Absolutely correct. Zeroing in, it's a tenth box. There's a lot on the line here. Yeah, he knows oh. it's a little off too, so he's probably yeah. trying to readjust. Oh, it's for the king of the palace, which everybody prides themselves it's either for. A, it's either a half a step to the he left. Be walking around Kimball Street, Daniel Street with the crown. Oh, black jacket. Oh. Oh, 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 wipe your feet oh, on that one, Steve. Stole that one. He's, He's smiling. He's smiling. He knows it. He knew He knew he walked away with one. Oh, well, sometimes I guess the bowling gods do deliver. Who knows? It can't have been bowling. Throw the ball, see what happens. <laughs> the alley's still enough from you. It's good that they give him yeah. back once in a while. Yeah. He had no business making that spear with that shot, but they all went down. They went to an 8, 9, or 10. Oh, disappointing five. What do you land up with, Dennis? 112. 112. Opening string of 112, which means uh, Stan's got to get 18 to tie him up. 18 to tie, 19 to take the lead. Or a couple of marks and a couple of good fills will yeah, a lot open up and leave. Yeah, a little extra time. Think about what you're doing, where you're going. Like you said, there's a lot riding on this. 
<clears throat> one of these two guys is going to be the new king of the palace. Is it going to be newcomer Stan Parker, or is it going to be veteran Calipin Bowler and former king of the palace champion Steve Reno Sr.? Well, Stan Parker had this same leaf two boxes ago, guys. Made it. Even though Steve took me out to be king of the palace the last time I was and, in. I, and I then no, it says there's no animosity there over there. there. I have <laughs> no, no ill will towards him. Steve's a great guy. He does a lot of this. And he does a lot of that. But, man, I st he still kicked my butt, and I still hold a little animosity towards him. No, like I said, Steve is just one of those genuinely nice guys. That you, took you can't you out, be mad. That took you off from being king. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had a nice comeback that second string. I just fell a little short. I think short. we had the higher viewership when, when you were on the show, Dennis. That could be just because you and the family were clicking on your episodes. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis, David does have a wonderful way with words. <laughs> I only call uh, it like I see it. I've watched, I must have watched it about a dozen or two times myself. So, <laughs> but I did have a quite a few numbers. Uh, I think 800, 700, 800 on each one. So I oh. appreciate the views. Almost pulled that one off. Very, how many, how many very difficult. Did you have? Seven or eight hundred each episode. Wow. That was the last time I checked. That was a couple of months ago. It could be more. So then, so then you minus that. How many views? Minus, you had? minus so the twenty-four. You, I did. You, you, you must have a lot of family members. I, there you go. <laughs> after one. After one, it's Steve Reno at 112. Stan Parker at 113. Stan's got a one-pin lead going into the uh, second string. This is what we like, people. Did, this uh, is what we like. I just, lo I just love this show. You know, I love Kendall and Bowling. You know, I love seeing this. You know, a newcomer coming up. Thanks. You know, veteran Kendall and Bowler. He's one pin ahead going into the second string. Derek Kimpton houses all over the Northeast mm -hmm. and in Canada. Visit one. It's one of the it's the one of the best sports around. It is one of the toughest oh. sports around. It, it's okay. tough but fun. So did all the time, guys. Nothing like it. Come on down. Try your luck. I shouldn't say luck. Try your skill. Enjoyment. No, try your luck. Yeah. Oh, we didn't want Off that. To the left. Yeah, didn't want that. It's got to come out of here with at least a, a nine. This is a close match. Oh, he got the now. He takes off the one three and the ten and leaves the six. That happens to me all the time. I usually yeah. leave that third pin in. Yeah. No rhyme, no reason. It just no. happens. It just happens. That, who knows? All right, you got to find the head pin. Got to get back on it. Drop go nine. Okay. The oh, he wanted the ten to fall. It did. Oh, four pin is all alone. Yeah, here it is. Lots of people say it. the this most difficult shot in Candlepin Bowling. And oh, he nailed it. Oh, over. he wanted it. He got it. The conference is it. Well, hey, who wants it more right now? Well, everybody. This classic example. Hardest thing to do in Candlepin Bowling. Make a one pin spin, right, Dennis? You can talk oh, yourself. Pressure. You can talk yourself out of it so quickly. It's like I've said. It's trying to hit a... Especially when you need it. Yeah. Trying to hit a toothpick with a, with a golf ball. Now Steve Reno fires and he drops nine. Sometimes oh. I'd say it's like trying to hit a toothpick with a marble. Marble. No, that's a good one. Golf ball. Golf yeah. ball's a little bigger. Bigger, yeah. You <laughs> might, yeah, I get to think that one over. Okay. Oh, yeah. Frozen wood. I spare. Bond wood helped him on that one. Bond wood, any type of wood straight up against the... Rolled up against the single pin. Okay. Let's see what happens in box number two. This is going to be, as they say, a bond burner. Or as J.I. would say, a slobber knocker. A slobber knocker, right? <laughs> so we are all wrestling gotta fans. Got to <laughs> love the slobber knockers. Oh. Finds the pocket, finds the 1-3 pocket, leaves an ugly four-pin split. A fairly makeable shot. Yeah. you got to hit it just right. Oh. Took out the three. The bog worker shaded over into the eight, but he's left the four and the seven. Okay, Stan, we're gonna check on that. Stan Parker up on lane number three. Le wide left again, left leaving the four horseman right. Staying going 
off to the four horsemen, off Ooh. to the left. The left. No, it wants to come back here, get at least three out of four. Oh, we got them all. Nice shot. Nice 10 bucks. Stand up on alley four. Yeah. Concentration. Getting straight. Oh, found the head and pin quarter. again. Oh, one more. Oh, almost had a hammer. Another single pin spear. Nice angle wood here. Anything from the red line up should just take it right out. The one thing, you, the one place you do not want to hit this pin is on that cap. Yeah, you want to hit a red liner below. Yeah, he did it. Nice spear. Steve Reno's got some work to do. Box to box, he's uh, down nine pins. No. Oh, oh no, wow. no, no. The third time. And the, uh, in three uh, weeks. In three weeks. Once a week we've had it. How does it happen? It's a beautiful, it's oh, a beautiful thing, How does it? that happen? How can you take yeah, one It's a spin momentum up? killer. Yeah. But. <clears throat> explain to me. I don't know. I, 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 think, I, you know it's, it's like, I, just, I know that Dennis says it's angle of deflection and all this. I just this. think it's a riot. Three times we've seen it. But only one spread eagle. In the, in the last week, <laughs> but we had three one pinners. I love it. Oh, I can't blame Steve Reno. I can't blame him for shaking his head. How can you throw the ball down the alley and hit one pin out? It happened to me once where I took out the three pin, then took out the two pin alone, and I still had eight pins standing with my last ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you don't know how it happens, it just some, does. We've seen some pretty weird leaves in the qualifier. I think. Um, one bowler actually ended up taking out the one, the three, and the four. Wow. Yes, yeah, that yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. I remember that. Okay. Nice pick up for Steve Reno. Yeah, needed that spare. He matched Stan Parker's fourth box spare. It's yeah. coming down to the nitty gritty, guys. After four, it's Steve Reno at 44 plus a ball and Stan Parker at 53 plus a ball. Well, Stan Parker really zeroing in on this head pin. Newcomer Stan Parker. He just wants it. Oh, no, no, Fires another. that ball quicker than a hiccup. Another. No, no. Four hearts from one went down. Well, six on the spare, Phil. He's taking him out to the mule shed. <laughs> yep. No, he's got to drill the head pin. That's all there is to it here. Oh, nice, nice shot. Pick up. That was a Drilled nice into the three, took out the six and the eight. What a, excuse me, the six and the ten. What a nice shot. Stan, Stan is all oh. about business today, man. Oh, is he zeroed in or what? He's eating it up right now. Big ball. Big, oh, look at this. Absolutely. Another aces and eights. Put yeah. the ball in the head pin, got a six film, and look at this mess. Uh, he leaves the two, four, six, and the ten. If he puts it to the right side of that two pin, he might have a chance at making the other two. Oof. Or just missed. Wow. Well, he's got to play it safe here, Dennis. He's got to hit the wood, yeah. take out the two on the right. Yeah, you definitely got to take it. Yeah, uh, get, get a nine box out of this. He's definitely creating a little bit of distance between him and Steve. Big nine box, yeah. Okay. Nothing wrong with 25 for two. The force is the other bowler to get a knock. Okay, Steve Reno up. It's getting down to the nitty gritty. 44, Dennis, with the ball. 44 plus a ball. Yeah. Yes. Okay, here it goes. Yep. Well, he knows the pressure's on. He Senior needs to start uh, throwing some bombs down. Well, he just took another little extra swing on the arm there to zero in. And a quarter shot. Look at this disaster. A little thin on that one. Wow. Look at this. Oh, one, okay. But he still left the five, seven, eight, nine. Oh, Got some wood. This is going to be one of those ones where it's uh, not very helpful. Spray and a pray. Well, double wood, though. You never know what will happen. Oh my God. See, you never know what'll happen. <laughs> you've, called, you've called it time and time and yeah. time again. You never know with double wood. Is this no rhyme or reason? Why did that eight pin stay up? <sighs> He's frustrated, I know. Wiping the hands off, check the slide, anything to get his mind off it. And as always, we encourage everyone to come down to the King Guy uh, Palace. Yep. Try out, be an audience member, whatever you like. Come on you down. Know, we love having uh, new faces every month. Oh, there's you a know. classic example. Stan Parker, Mike Kane. Yep. 
We, we enjoy having familiar faces come down. Yeah. You know, Steve and When's the next shoot, next shoot, next uh, tournament, David? The May 31st will May 31st be uh, Saturday. Saturday. The, well, the, Saturday, the, the May, Saturday yeah. after Memorial Day. Oh, no. The 1-3 was up I think there. he just gave the Richard Nixon. The 1-3 was up. First spare shot, he hits this object, and what happened? The ball went straight up in the air. That's, oh, that's too it. bad. After six, it's Steve Reno at 68, Stan Parker at 84. Stan's holding on to a 17-pin lead. I just heard Steve Reno say two in a row, meaning? He should have had two in two, a row. That's right. He should have had two, spa two spares in a row. Ball was there. And who knows what happened? The yep. double wood on the first one, Stand the second time he drilled the head pin straight we, we up in the air. we got four boxes to go, and if uh, Stan falters a little bit, Steve's going to need to answer to it. Oh, no. Half Worcester Half right. Half Worcester right. And as oh. always, keep the YouTube and Facebook comments coming. We do look at them all the time. Uh, Suggestions, compliments, nothing. complaints, whatever they are, we uh, do appreciate them all. Questions, anything at all, it's there. I We do read them all, and I have to say that... Um, you know, I do appreciate it, and, you know, for, for those that you uh, like to critique, it's all good. At least you're watching, whether you, you know, whether you love us or you hate us. It's all about not... Oh, look not at a, this. It's not about oh. me, and it's not about Steve, and it's not about Dennis. It's about the great Cam Candleman Bowl. Oh, exactly. Boy, was he lucky to come up with not lucky. Fortune is a better word for an eye drop box than that. Yeah, you got a, good, a lot of good favorable action. Okay, shake it off. <laughs> I hate to say, shake it off the nine box, but it looked a lot worse than when he came out with Dennis. Yeah, he, okay. he'd like to put a mock up now. Oh, yeah, put a little distance between him and Steve. Oh, now he's wide right again. Oh. And he's left the one, the two. The four, four and the six. Oh, this is difficult. Are you playing to the right of the head pin, David, or are you going to try to split him? I'm going to try to run the ladder. Dennis? Split him. Split him. Yeah, throw the pin over. A oh. little full. Yeah, little full. Full people means you hit it directly on with no slice action. Go straight back into the pit. The pin pit. Okay. Got to get one out of two here. Oh, he got them both. Nice shot. Nice shot. It's like well calling him a trick shooter. Yep. D Steve has a lot of work to do right now. If, if Steve was ever to make a run at the King of the Palace. Was that, just the, was that just the four and the six up that he made? I can't remember. Yeah. There was another... Devil's bedpost was made. Okay. Here he goes. This, uh, oh, the oh, no, He's got a half oh. Worcester. Oh, you didn't want that. Well, you got to throw the strike ball and make the span. It's Steve Reno. It'll, it'll go. <laughs> well, he can make it no. He had to hit the head pin. Oh, look at this. The high low jack, jack with a joker. Oh, is he disappointed? He is disappointed. Yeah, Steve's off. Yeah. He's a little off. Yeah. It's a, the boss is not doing what he wants it to do. It happens. Yeah, box to box. Uh, after seven boxes bold, yeah. he's down 20. So he's got a lot of oh, work yeah. to do. He's got to get something here. Heading quarter shot. No, he's left the triangle left. One of the six triangles. The two, four, five. Got to get the two pin to the either side. Right handed bowlers generally go to the right, I think, Dennis, right? It, it's all preference, but preference, yes, yeah. usually you go hey, to the side. This is um, the triangle. This is this is where um, I ended up paying a dollar for my pizza that, that you bet me, right? No, I forgot about that. That was, that was many moons ago. I did pay you off, though. Yeah, no, you I, did. I, I, no. After eight, it's Steve Reno at 83, Stan Parker at 103. Right. Stan is holding on to a 21-pin lead. Yeah, Steve is just having a really tough time right now. Mm -hmm. Stan could actually put this away right here and right now. Yeah, Mark with a decent fill. Forces him to Closes the door on it. Forces Steve Reno to get a triple. Well, wide left again. But he hits this head pin. And with that, I'm going to the right of the wood. I'm slicing it. I want to see if I can't run that piece of wood right down. Yeah, go right off. Go slide right by it. Right there. No, well, thought he had it. Oh, it looked like it just barely nicked it, but not enough to take it. Well, so pinned him. It's a big pin here. Well, no, no. Look, Dennis, let's look closely at this. You got a piece of wood. Got to cap that wood on the left. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Or throw yeah. it right to the left of it and miss, miss everything it altogether. So there'll be no determination. Well, well he's giving Steve a there. chance. Yeah, he's opening the door just a little bit. It all yeah. depends if uh, he wants to close it right here. 
Speaking from experience, Steve, can kick in that door. <laughs> wow, eight pin drop. Left the four and the eight. Difficult spare, looks easy, but it isn't. No wood. No Split wood. Him. Split them. This part be for the king. Ooh, oh, kissed it. Well, it's still a big Gave pin. it a little kiss and eight pin stands. He left mm -hmm. Steve a little room. Okay, Dennis, what do we got? Stand pocket through a 122 for a two string total of 235. So that means that we, Steve Reno needs. Steve is down 21 box to box. So he's going to have to. He needs uh, 41 pins in two boxes. Needs a it's double. Not impossible. Spin. Needs a lot or one spin, a double, or an open and, and a Any combination. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, there's wrecking the rack. Oh, was anyone ever wanted Steve a hammer? Been, he got it. Steve's been waiting for that for two strings. Not over yet. Not over yet. Okay, it all depends upon him. He needs another mark. Yeah, needs a mark. Well, that's why he was the champion. Yeah, he's 31 yeah. more pins. A lot of pins to make up. Oh. That closed the door, I believe. Well. That's what he does. That's it. Yeah, because yeah, even if you made that spear into a strike on Stan it, Parker it would still be a pin. King of the Palace yeah, champion. We have a new king. Well. And a newcomer. New king. And the newcomer of Stan Parker. Stan Parker shows up. Congratulations to both. First time in the tournament for the King of the Palace, and he's going to be wearing the King, the King's crown. Yeah. Down his, Daniel Street, down Kimball Street, down his, South Street. His brother's never going to hear the end of it yeah. now. End of the string. He's the champ. Steve Reno at 112. Stan Parker at 122. This may bring his brother out of retirement to come down and uh, whip his butt next next month. <laughs> How many spears and strikes, Dennis? Uh, two string total, Steve Reno 224, Stan Parker 235 for an 11 pin lead. Stan Parker had five spears, one strike, and Steve Reno had five spears and one strike. Great bowling on both uh, accounts. We have a new champ, Stan Parker. He's the new king. He's the king of the palace. New champion, king of the palace, Stan Parker. Congratulations, Stan Parker, on becoming the new king of the palace. Up now, the Spread Eagle Challenge. Up first, Stan Parker. This is the Spread Eagle Challenge. Yep, up first, the new king of the palace, oh. Stan Parker. He chose to bowl first. Let's see what happens. Left or right. Love to see this being made. They got a shot. Oh, Ooh, just slid yeah. by that three pin. Almost. Now, Steve Reno Sr., who's uh, no stranger to picking up this spread eagle. Very, very, very difficult shot. Got to throw the right side over to the left, obviously. The I like the right side between the, yeah. between the three and the six. Let's see what happens. It's the spread eagle challenge. Oh, oh look at this. Look at that. Oh, no, no. And he's left. That's yeah, still Wait working. Hold on. Wait a minute. One minute. Oh, it ain't gonna go. No love. No love. Great job, both guys. 